Hey guys, we got a different video today on uh, not coin roll hunting, but actually searching through this old coin purse that was found in a very old house that uh, my in-laws own. And I, all I know right now is it has a lot of V-nickels, uh, Liberty nickels rather, and uh, a couple bus tokens and things like that. So we're going to look at them. I'll, I, I do know that they're not in great shape. So I'm not thinking there's going to be anything of crazy value, um, only because the the Liberty Head nickels they just really don't age well. Um, they just get circulated so bad. So I do know that these are in poor shape. But let's see if we got anything interesting. I have a, a little list here that someone helped me out with on the uh, Coin Community forums. Here's this. Here's the dates that we're looking for according to my buddy here and uh, that's what we're gonna be looking for the only one from the 1900s we're looking for is gonna be the 12s everything else is gonna be the 1800s that we're looking for and as you can see just the fact that these entire coins are all high point so there's really not gonna be none of these are really good shape because they're all heavily circulated so what do we got here? Another... Wow, this one's so flat, I can't even see. Wow. 1800... Oh man, I really cannot see. It's so worn flat that I just can't... It looks like 1894. Is that one of my dates? It, oh, it is. It is one of the dates. 1894. That's on the list. Too bad it's almost a washer at this point. It's, uh, it's definitely seen better days. Right, let's see if I can get a better focus here. It's not picking up focus because it's just a flat piece of metal that it's trying to pick up some uh, some details on. Wow. All right, well, it's cool that we found a, an uncommon date, though. So let's set that aside. Uh, what do we have here? Um, this is a bus token. And it's for Omnibus Cayuga. So I'm in upstate New York, so that's why we're going to see things like that. Looks like we got another one of those here. Um... Nice little silver guy here. Nothing special, but that's cool. Always like free silver. King George. Nothing special. Nobody really connects, collects that kind of stuff. Um, let's keep going on here and let's check these dates. All right. Oh, 1900 something, and it's just black, so nothing. 1905. Let's put a couple out here and just kind of get them. Ooh, 1912. Let's see if it's the S. That's the only one we're looking for. No. Unfortunately. But it had us thinking for a second there that maybe we had something. <laughs> 1904. Let's see. Let's get these all flipped. Face up. 1906. 1899. That is not on our list. 1883. With cents. If it says cents on the back, that's going to be different than if it doesn't say cents. Yeah, it says it. So I don't think it says five cents. Okay, so I think this is a good one. So let's put this up with the other one. The other, uh, only other one we saved out. So looks like we had one good one there. Uh, 1912 again. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Nope. The 1912 without the S is a really common date, actually. So not surprised that we're seeing multiples of that. 
We got a coin here that someone drilled. They tried to make a necklace out of it, unfortunately. People always try to do that and it never really works out. 1899, nope. 1892, that is not on the list. 1905, 1900, 1907, 1911. Okay, so pretty cool, pretty cool. We got two here that I'm interested in. And actually, you know, this this 1883 is really not in too bad a shape. That's actually, I kind of was going through these fast, but if you look, this is actually not bad shape. As we, as we really bring it into focus here, for circulated, you know, the fact that you can see Liberty almost in full, that's actually pretty uncommon. Um, just because the entire coin is like a high point. So let's flip it over and look at the back again, because this is actually a nice coin. This is my best Liberty nickel, just for condition alone. And the fact that it's on a, on this list that this guy gave me, let me look for the uh, exact, I'm pulling up the mintage here, 1983 with no cents. Uh, looks like five million made. This is the coin community website. Let's see. This is the. Yeah, that's the one. Doesn't say cents on it. Because if it did, let's see. Let's see where it would say it. It would be. Oh, usually there's a picture. Oh, well, I guess not. Well, it doesn't say it, so cool. I'm going to have to look into that one a little bit more because that's actually that's actually a pretty decent shape. And this one, worn really flat, but also a good year, according to that list. 1890. Can't even remember what it was now. I can't see it either. 1894, 1894, this website, it's just really good, oh yeah, 5 million, so good, two, two decent finds in there, and actually I would say that this one's pretty good, so I'm going to look more into that one and uh, its condition, so that was pretty, that was pretty cool. It's not every day you get to go through a, an old little bag of coins from uh, from an old estate. So that was fun, and wow, really glad I found something cool in there because a lot of these are in are in rough shape. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching.